Hey guys, uh, we're going to continue with some more periodic functions and uh, the first thing I want to do is uh, discuss uh, some more basic trigonometry concepts so if you remember if we had a right angle triangle like so and we have a right angle here and we have theta here and then we had uh, this side is the opposite side this side is the hypotenuse and this side is the adjacent and if you remember our basic trigonometry definitions sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse and uh, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent and you probably remember that um, sine theta is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse side, opposite over hypotenuse and a right angle triangle. So therefore theta in a normal right angle triangle is pretty much always between 0 and 90 degrees. Right, so for example, we could have a angle that is, uh, for example, theta, let's say, is 70. Right, or it can get even steeper. Let's say this angle here is 80. Right, but so theta pretty much is always smaller than 90 degrees. Now, what happens when theta is equal to 90 degrees try drawing that triangle right you can't even see a triangle it'll just be a, a straight line or what if we extend it even further and say what happens if theta is bigger than 90 so 100 degrees what would sine theta be okay now in a calculator Let's type that in. Let's try typing in. Uh, let's put it on degrees mode and type sine um, 90 degrees. And the answer is 1. Sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. And then let's type in sine, let's say, 100 degrees. And now it's gone back down to a number smaller than 1. What about sine 150 degrees? 0 0.5 where are these numbers coming from All right since it's impossible to create a right angle triangle when there's already a right angle that's 90 degrees so how do we get this angle 90 degrees or bigger now the answer lies in our unit circle so let's go back to our unit circle and if you remember the definition of unit circle uh, from our previous video sine theta is equal to the y coordinate of point B and cosine theta is equal to the x coordinate of point B alright so if you don't remember that I'll just uh, just remind you guys oops I'll just remind you guys so um, we have uh, this point here point B has a y coordinate of sine theta and an x coordinate of cosine theta so point B pretty much has x is the cos theta and y is the sine theta and uh, so I'll just write that here as well point B 
x equals cos theta and y equals sine theta alright so uh, for example right now we have 29.6 degrees so point B right now has a cosine of 29.64 as the x coordinate and sine 29.64 as the y coordinate which is cosine uh, sorry, the x coordinate of B is 0 0.87, 0 0.49. So point B has 0 0.87 and 0 0.49 as the x and y coordinates of point B. Okay, so now what happens if we drag point B to the 90 degrees point from the uh, horizontal 90 degrees let's have a look at point B the x corner and the y corner x corner is equal to 0 y corner is equal to 1 so we can say when point B is at 90 degrees uh, from the horizontal from the original point uh, we got x is equal to 0 y is equal to 1 and uh, so therefore remember point B the x is equal to uh, cos theta and y is equal to sine theta so cos 90 must be equal to 0 and sine 90 must be equal to 1 All right, because uh, theta is 90 degrees theta is 90 degrees alright so cos 90 is equal to 0 sine 90 is equal to 1 Okay, now let's drag this point beyond 90 degrees. So this is what you guys thought was impossible before, but it is actually possible. Right, because we have dragged this point on the unit circle to the other side, and now we still have an x and y coordinate for this point. And the definition for sine and cosine still works. So we've dragged it to the other side, and what is the y coordinate of this point? So let's make a screenshot of this diagram and put it here. So right now, at this point here, we have theta is equal to. theta is equal to 135.7 degrees now let's try typing in the calculator cos 135.7 so cosine 135.7 and we have negative 0 0.72 so cosine theta equals negative uh, 0 0.72 and let's try putting in sine uh, sine 135.7 remember your calculator should be on degrees mode for this to work 0 0.70 so sine theta is 0 0.70 I've rounded these numbers to two decimal places now let's look at for point B what is the x coordinate sorry what is the x coordinate and what is the y coordinate so let's look at GeoGebra point B has an x coordinate of negative 0 0.72 
and a y coordinate of 0 0.7. So the y coordinate is 0 0.7 and the x coordinate is 0, negative 0 0.72, which is exactly the same as cos theta and sine theta of 135.7. So x equals negative 0 0.72 y equals 0 0.7 on our unit circle. Alright, so that is why when you type in the calculator cos 135.7 the answer is negative 0 0.72 and uh, so using the same concepts we can drag this point to bigger than 180 degrees and we will be able to find uh, an answer for cos cosine 218 and sine 218 so I can pretty much tell you guys right now sine 218 is going to be equal to negative 0 0.64 because that's the y coordinate of point B as shown here and the x coordinate of point B, negative 0 0.77 is going to be the answer to cosine of 219. And you can even drag this point to here. So you can say the cosine of 338 is 0 0.93 and the sine of 338 is negative 0 0.37 alright so um, hopefully from this video you guys have understood why it's possible and how to obtain values for sine and cosine when theta is bigger than 90 degrees. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.